Hi! Today I'll show you how to make a custom illustration without drawing a single line. First I go to Ouch website and find clip style. Let's say it's used some of my projects because it has a limited palette and flat shapes. You can pick characters and items for any story. Let's say I have an idea. I decided to make my own illustration. I like this silhouette, but I want to add some of my own details. I take this illustration as a basis and go to Vector Creator. It's a free constructor that allows you to edit illustrations. Basically, this part is fine, but I'll have to work a little bit on this part. To get started, you need to select Clip Style and look for objects in it. People are on the separate tab, there is also a tab with animals and a separate tab with objects. My idea is to make a composition with the girl going on vacation. I remove these. The search is the easiest way to get elements if you know exactly what you want. I need a set of bags that will stand next to her. Scaling will help us with it. Maybe a little smaller. You can position items to the back or to the front. I can put a bag like this next to the others. There is also a mirror tool here. Something like this. I want to get her to pack a suitcase. I see no suitcases in this search result, so I search again. There are some suitcases. I'll try this one. I remove the box. It will look like she's putting something in a suitcase. I'd like to add something else to the foreground. There is such an item in the objects. A shelf with clothes. I don't need the shelf itself, but the crop tool allows me to grab only the top stack of clothes. It can be even more accurate. I can put it in the foreground here and make it smaller. As if the girl is gathering some more clothes. In clip style, everything in the first plane should stand out from the background. I will also put some kind of background here, so in order to separate background from the figures, I need to make the light details a little darker. I will also make grey a little darker. Now I'll put some simple background. There are some windows, a hint of the interior. And I'll send it all the way to the back. Now I can save the finished picture either in PNG or in vector format. A vector format is available with a paid subscription. The custom illustration is ready! Thanks for watching this tutorial!